back to Tyranny. Alright, now let's head on over to Echo Call Crossing. Five hours. Let's do it. Focuses on the scattered, wounded men around him. He has yet to notice you. Your plan has been a rousing success. Most of our troops dead, the bridge destroyed, and the venturing guard push us back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, the finest North has to offer. And for your next act, I needed those furies on point. Don't mock my strategy after working against it. We could have taken them. You just wasted dozens of lives walking into a trap. I'll mock your idiocy as much as I want, so long as it continues to amuse me. What is happening? Shouldn't you be on the other side of the bridge? We tried to rush the western bridge. Blow for blow, we had them running, but his gaze drops, the wrong side escapes. But halfway across. Halfway across, the whole damn river just, the blood chanter just gesticulates, flailing for words, lurched up. The cursed Matani swallowed the bridge and almost everyone on it. Only real soldiers we have left are the Scarlet Furies that I, quite wisely, directed into a flanking position. A few of us kept on f footing, but the advantage was lost. We had to fall back. As we did, the Oathbreakers surged down the, the East Bridge. We held ground until they fled back across the river, but now we're back where we started with only a fraction of the strength. Direct attack was a dumb idea. Better quick was wise to hold the reserve. And this is how the conquest ends. Kairos' edict slays us all because cousins marry. Antonio is born, and our overlord's finest waddle into a trap. You're the chosen one, Antonio. Kairos chose you to get us all killed. Infinite wisdom, my, my gangrenous nut. Had we four focused our strength into one perfect lunge, we could have crossed the bridge before the enemy knew what was killing them. But it's not too late. We can use the Scarlet Furies to... No! Fool! Stop suggesting ways to get my gang killed. Are you working for the Oathbreakers? We should wait until the enemy is no longer on high alert. Antio's plan isn't a good one. What would you suggest instead? There is a time for initiative and a time for patience. We should try a different part in the river or come back later. The enemy is too wary of us now. Are you in such a rush to see Kairos as he did come to pass? Sorry, Quick, but I'll strap you to my back and charge down that other bridge alone. But doing nothing isn't an option. We can sit and wait for Kairos Edict to kill us, or we can do something. If this were a, if this were a hearing agreement, says I'd let you call the shots. But we are talking about the lives of my gang. Conscripts are copper, dozen, but furies. 
I have worked hard to secure the loyalty of my gang. I will not scrap fine warriors on such a buffoon, on so buffoonish a plan. I suppose I'll have to tell the voices of Norak that his agents were soft and cowardly in the face of opposition. Huh? Do you think your words would change? The chanter smiles wide. I meant to say, perhaps the fate binder is right. Antio is in charge. When you meet next with the Archons, you will tell the voices I was instrumental in the success of the crossing. Just like that. The disfavored warrior crumples his face in his palm. No way. I won't question it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, you had, you had best be thanking me and the fate binder. We've saved the disfavored time and time again. What's one more? Listen up. For this to work, my furies need a moment to get out of cover. Fate binder, you need to run up the east bridge. Don't get yourself killed. Just draw their attention. I'll signal my furies to send the rope across while you have them occupied. There's no time to waste. Let's hope your gang delivers. Antio turns to you, nodding with a heavy frown. Thank you, Fate Binder. Good hunting. Oh, this should be fun. All right, so I should go to the Eastern Bridge, but I want to check what's over here first. Maybe there's some goodies for me. Surrender. There's no need for further bloodshed. So there's the Western Bridge. The soldiers. The soldier has numerous wounds on his body. The cold forms of two elderly villagers lay nearby, two victims that he ultimately could not shield from harm. What do we have here? Most of the homes on the southern side of the river have been abandoned, much like this one. Few of Apex's citizens believe that raising a blue flag would be respected by Kairos' forces. Uh, we got stuff to loot. Ah, both. Thank you. And a helm. Broken on front. Alright, so. Lower accuracy, higher damage, slower, better range, which is a big deal. I've been harping on that for a while now, saying how bows just not, just too goddamn short of range. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch to this. Um, Have a look here. Well, you can't switch homes anyway. Yeah. I'll stay downwind of our enemies. See that? Well, this is the, looks like center bridge. I don't think I need to go to this one, but I kind of just want to kill these guys because I can.
As you command. Send me your champion! I'll tear your skeleton out by your ass! I will aid you. Alright, simple enough. They won't see me coming. Let's be off. Oh, I guess that is the bridge I'm supposed to go across. Okay. There's two. Alright. Any more traps? Out of curiosity, I don't suppose I can hide Helm by a barrack. No. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, it's fused to him, so yeah. Adrian Guard. Captain pierces the co commotion with her shrill soprano. Get over here. The disfavored are back. Guess they forgot a javelin or two. Be a dog, would you? Hurl them back. Wait. Not another disfavored. This is a fate binder. She looks you up and down. Odd. I would have expected. Well, just more soldiers. Here to convince us to kneel down and lose our heads. I need to resolve this insurrection, as little killing as possible. I have a hard time believing such words. What is the mantra? Kairos does not wish to rule a wasteland? The disfavored has stopped taking work slaves. Don't pretend we aren't targeted for elimination. Your friends seem to have misplaced most of their squad. Guess they're somewhere in the river? She shrugs sarcastically. My family's been protecting this river for six generations, so it's easy to lose track of all the looters and vagrants we have to feed the eels. Unless you want to try a running leap over, you're stuck. Maybe try heading downstream to Placid Crossing. We have more warriors there, and I'm certain they'd be just as happy to kill you. The Tidecaster that did this, the same one that met me for a truce. Trying to take stock of her crew, she lets out a large snort, laughing to herself. We've had unexpected help of late. Kill and rape a realm enough and everyone comes out of the woodwork to shiv you in the ear. Lower this bridge and surrender. Hold your oars a second. I have a statement prepared for her. From Captain Ari for just a, for just this moment, she reaches into her belt and with an impish smile pulls her hand out to reveal nothing but the local hand gesture for penis. <laughs> Wait, there's a second missive in here somewhere. She feigns scouring her pockets once more before displaying her phallic gesture again. <laughs> Oh shit, that is fucking good. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. I mean, I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna gut her for that, but man, that is fantastic. Oh, uh, I gotta hand it. I, I almost like her. I, in fact, I do. I'm still gonna gut her. And uh, yeah, 
you get no mercy when I finally get to you, but man, that is fantastic. Uh, as the music as I find this soon to be corpse, it would appear that our distraction has paid off. He nods off to the west. Satisfied, she turns to leave, calling out to you as she does. I wouldn't keep standing there, Fate Binder. The rubber currents are quite unpredictable. Oh, the horrible, horrible, horrible things I am going to do to that woman. Done. While you were toying with the Oathbreakers, my gang had the opportunity to set a rope on the collapsed bridge over yonder. The Furies want wait to join you in battle. Good work. Your gang has salvaged this mess. We require no thanks for carrying the burden that this favor is too weak to lift. We are used to such things. Plan now is to lower that bridge. My warriors can't swim in the armor. The lighter, the lighter troops, he points squarely at you, can move across the rope, then lower the bridge. We'll meet you on the other side. Crossing by rope, are we? Barrett clears his throat and shifts his weight awkwardly. In that case, I might recommend that I go last. For once, I agree with Antio. Better quick points across the water in an animated alarm. My gang's been spotted. Go now, before they are over them. Well... Let's be off. Oh, 
stagger. On the lookout. Kairos's butchers have come. Flee. Retreat! Captain Matani signals for the troops to run to the nearby village. There's too many! They've crossed the river! Pull back! The Vendrian guard soldiers rush forward and adopt a close formation, covering Captain Matani as she retreats towards the nearby settlement. and breaks formation of fleet. Heads up! We have company! Take that! No other way. Moving cautiously. Ah, Lord Bridge. Excellent work, Fate Binder. We'll hold the bridge against any reinforcements. These empty crates appear to have, to have significant water damage. You also notice a small series of notches on the top left corner of each box. There's the forged bound iron. You discovered waterlogged crates with notches that match the ones Isotanus showed you. They must have been filled with the iron Isotanus was expecting. The rest of the shipment must be nearby, probably with the oak breakers. I'll get it back after I slaughter them mercilessly. I gave them a chance to surrender. They scoffed at me. They don't get a second chance. They will all die. An example must be set. When I give you a chance to live, you take it. You don't get a second chance. Stepping lightly. Foot. It's a hit. I will aid you. Stepping lightly. Voices and fearful exclamations come from inside. 
Hey, listen. You villagers, as long as you don't take arms against me and you stay out of my way, you don't have anything to fear from me. The soldiers, on the other hand, they're, get, they're gonna get slaughtered. I'm murderizing all of them. I might let one live severely injured just so he can hobble back to the rest of his troops and let them know what happened here. If the game allows me to do such a thing. These crates have small series of notches on the top left corner of each box and scuffs on the ground suggest they were dragged from a nearby home. Ah. So the iron is in one of these houses. Spotted them. seeing an awful lot of red. That hurt. They won't even. New dent. Time to lighten my step. Say that's worth a second glance. Momentum gauntlets. Multi strike. And weapon crit. Sunday Pierce. Versus weapon here. Okay, so you get like a second attack if it hits. And if it crits. The palms of these gauntlets are smooth and pliable, allowing the haft of any weapon to slip with ease, such as the stroke of an axe or raising of a hammer. Successful attack seamlessly opens up the way for a rapid follow-up. Cool. Let's be off. The soldiers are here! Yeah. Matani's simple shrill voice pierces the air. A clarion call addressed not to you, but the citizens of the vision. 
village. Do not fear, sons and daughters of Apex. Kairos' hounds are at our doorstep. Venturing guard will not abandon you. Brave warriors of the Venturing guard, these foreigners and sellouts mean to burn our homes and butcher our families. Summon what strength you have and show Kairos the price of taking our land. Several soldiers step out from half-closed doorways and dimly lit alleyways, fury blazing in their eyes. The partisans shout battle cries to marshal their courage, and you see the gray gleam of iron as they brandish their weapons and charge. How in the name of Ash did these hillfolk get their hands on, the, on iron weapons? Eric regards the locals with momentary panic and bewilderment before setting a stance for battle. As you command. There you are. Hold on, give me a second. Let me buck myself up before I murder you.
Right. They're here. Weapons up, and remember, those no longer with us. Honor them with your courage and prowess. The captain turns to face you as you approach. Fatebinder. We are proper warriors, are we not? This battle should remain between those of us who specialize in dealing with death. Let the villagers go. They did not ask for this conflict. The townsfolk may go. The rest of you stand and fight. Far be it for me to question a call, but this village is a source of aid for the Vandrian Guard. We would be forced to leave it standing to resupply our enemies the moment we turn our backs. Hmm, that is a fair point. They have been supplying them. That is a fair point. I did have evidence of them clearly supplying the revolution. Fair point. The villagers are guilty as well. All will surrender or perish. I didn't know our guilt was a winter fever so easily shared throughout the village. But perhaps the only way to impress your overlord is to slaughter the sick and unready. They knew the cost of the five Kairos. That's about the logic I'd expect from one of Kairos' pawns. The captain points at you, hefting your blade to the ready. I want this spineless pile of shit off my riverbank. Ooh, I leveled up. Sybil can barely summon the strength to crawl. After several attempts, she slips on her own pooling blood. She lifts her head to focus on you. She mouths several words, though no cogent sounds escape her mouth, until she falls to her knees, bracing her side. Well done, Fatebinder. If this one survives its wounds, we have a fresh present for the Archon of Secrets. He didn't request a personal audience with any leader we can take alive. Oh boy. The voices of the rat is going to have a fun time with her. That's a mighty big gift. These southern folk are a sickly bunch. Antio wags a hand dismissively, looking at, her, looking at her suffer. It's making me sick. I'll kill her and get this over with. I say give her to the Scarlet Chorus. See if she survives the trip back to the camp. A wise choice, my good fate binder, that her quick motions to his gang. Take this one back to camp and be gentle for a change. If you deliver a corpse to the voices of Narat, you can expect to share her fate. So if she lives, this, is, this fanatic will be trusted with a weapon. Lovely. And what of this village? The locals could have tra trapped the houses, so too risky to command, commandeer the site. He shrugs, his tone becoming matter-of-fact. 
we should burn the town. I'll, it'll cut off support. Send a message and the smoke signal we will give the others a visible rallying point when crossing the Matani. Did we just waste all that blood and time capturing this place only to torch it all? Now I adore the mystical power of fire in ways none of you could possibly understand, but even I think there's a time and a place for arson. Fatebinder, kindly tell Antio he's free to burn his half of the village. The Scarlet Chorus would like to keep our half for, of the spoils, not to smoke it. Burn the town with everyone in it. Let us send the message the rebels won't soon forget. A waste of life, if you ask me. You won't even entertain the idea of giving these villagers to the course for course for conscription? Don't think of it as mercy. Think of it as practicality. We've been fighting for nearly four years. The Scarlet's course needs some new blood to toughen up the ranks. The village burns, and the traitors burn with it. This is my degree. Remind me never to visit Tunat's court, or to get on your wrong side, for that matter. They aided the revolution. They had to be made an example of. I need two of you to scour the grounds for any of our own wounded, Antio gestures to his soldiers, and two to gather kindling when we've got our own cleared from the site. Good hunting, fate binder, the disfavored commander offers you a vigorous salute. Grave and ash protects. Well, if we're going to solve this with fire, the chanter lets out his long sigh as he slowly traces the sigil of a long-gone arcan of fire with his index finger. The least you could do is leave this to an expert. Have your warriors round up the wounded. If you want this town burned, so be it. We'll destroy all evidence we were ever even here. The chanter smiles with a grin. Fate Binder, on behalf of the disfavored legion and our chorus allies, I thank you for, for your bravery and wisdom. The Iron Marshal has sent word of the Archons of the meeting at the disfavored camp, and your presence is requested. You should make haste back to camp. We'll take it from here. Ooh, I got an ability. Oh, and I went up a level. Let's see. Unnerving presence. Nearby enemies receive a penalty to accuracy. Nice. still find that item. Sorry, didn't mean to yell. Eyesight isn't what it used to be. 
My name's Zagua. Been here since King Okan claimed the valley as part of his own. You're of Kairos, right? Jabs a finger at you with question. And Kairos brings peace, right? Well, I surrender. Now leave me to my home in privacy. I suggest you are cooperate with other demands. You're all gonna die anyway. Settle down, son. I've been living here with my on my lonesome just fine. I've endured heat waves, breath fever, flooding. I'm not worried by children at play. Just hope none of your kids stop drowning in the river. That'd make your parents sad. Fine. Right away, old man. Gladly. Well, he puts his hands on his hips and nods with a defined scowl. Actually, you're gonna burn. So, yeah. Have fun with that. There is a list of old crumpled paper. While various simple items for crafting and repair are crossed out, most food items remain. There's the iron. The old man barges in through the door behind you. You motherless whoremonger. He attempts to usher you away with the pointed end of his walk, edge of his walking stick. Get out! I found forge-bound iron in one of these barrels. You have a great deal to explain, old man. The old man points his walking stick at your face. It's always the young pushing the old. I had no choice in the matter. Strange men appeared in here a fortnight ago. They claim to be supporters of the Vendrian Guard, but I've never seen them before. He stamps his foot in a fit. I had no choice. These so-called freedom fighters threatened my life if I didn't comply. Then Matani showed up for the iron. Not exactly. She stumbled upon it like you did when she was helping me fortify the village for an attack like this. She was just surprised. But she happily took it. Villagers forcing you to help the Ventrian guard. That sounds suspicious. Have you been listening to a damn thing I've been saying? Or do you have shit for ears? His face twitches with his spittle lands on you. That's exactly what I was saying. I don't want any part of this foolish war. Either way, you knew, and that this favor will make you pay the price. No, please. They'll execute me for sure. It's what you deserve. The old man clutches his head and weeps softly. Hold on, I want to root your place a little more before I leave. You're gonna die anyway. Getting executed, you're gonna burn in the village, so you know. It kinda doesn't matter. Alright, cool, I got the iron. I got it. The rest of the shipment must be nearby. I, I got the rest of the shipment. Why does it still say explore for the rest of the shipment? I, I got the shipment. Did I not pick it up? There it is. These iron ingots bear the seal of forge bound guild. Uh, are there supposed to be more somewhere? took everything that was in that house. Yeah. Okay.
Wonder why the quest didn't get upgrade, updated. I clearly have the iron. Well, I could have just walked across the other bridge, but that's alright. Alright, well, that takes care of everything here. Time to return to the disfavored camp. So, we'll leave off here.